this uh, Sunday afternoon. I, I want to talk about Grayson Rodriguez. You watch this guy develop, this young man, and now he gets a chance to do it in the double-A setting with the boy Bay Sox. They're bumping him up, Rob. He earned that promotion, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, five starts for Aberdeen, 3-0, 154 ERA, 069 whip. The strikeout rate is 15. The walk rate is 2. All the numbers are really outstanding for Grayson Rodriguez. And so even though he was a high school draft pick um, and hasn't had a lot of minor league ball under his belt, you know, he got some seasoning at the alternate camp last year. And the Orioles feel this kid's ready. So he is going to join D.L. Hall and Adley Rutschman and Bowie. That's a star-studded lineup. By the way, Rutschman hit a three-run homer today just before airtime. And Bauman's pitching game one of a doubleheader for yeah. Bowie. So there's a lot of excitement at Prince George's Stadium. It's pretty to be excited about. The Orioles have a couple of veterans starting at shortstop and third base and Galvis and uh, Franco, but they have a young man in the minor leagues, Gunnar Henderson, who could start at either one of those positions, and we know this guy could hit as well. Well, he, he we know that. We know that. He's been off to a great start for the Shorebirds, and it's going to be interesting to see, Rob, in the next few days if the Orioles will promote Gunnar Henderson. is certainly considering it. They bumped up from Aberdeen to Bowie infielder Joey Ortiz over the weekend here. And so now there's an opening at uh, Aberdeen in the infield. So the question is going to be, is that opening going to go to Gunnar Henderson, who's off to an incredible batting start, or Jordan Westberg, yeah. who's off to an incredible batting start. Both are playing good defense on the left side. Uh, one night, one place short, the other place third. They flip it, so they're both getting starts at short and third base. Gunnar Henderson is leading all of minor league baseball with those 30 RBIs, not just his league, the entire sport in the minor leagues. And he has three games of five RBIs already. So these kids are doing great. Gunnar's just 19. Is it too soon to promote him? It probably is, Rob. Uh, yeah. Based on talent and performance, he looks ready to move up. And so now a question also becomes, do the Orioles want to move these two as a package deal, so to speak, to Aberdeen? <laughs> and, and one reason they're considering that, Rob, uh, some people uh, kind of speculate, is that they're pushing each other. They're a great tandem at Delmarva, Gunner and Jordan. And they kind of like them playing together. So they may move them both up a level here in the next few days. You know, you, you updated some about Jordan Westberg. You introduced others to him. This is a young man with 30, 20 RBI himself. We talk so much about Henderson, but he's tied for fourth in his league in RBI with 20. So a great job. You know, all the trend that people are talking about in Birdland is the 12-game losing streak. But there are other trends that are going on in this organization. Am I right, Steve? Well, a good trend in batting, Rob, so far has been the walks and the on-base percentage we've seen uh, for three of the four teams. And, you know, you don't discount Norfolk by any stretch at AAA, but they've kind of been decimated by injuries there. Diaz and Martin, um, and, you know, several guys are hurt and out. Bannon now at uh, not in the lineup at AAA. But look at some of the numbers at these other levels. I mean, Double A Bowie is averaging 6.2 runs a game and leads its league in walks and is third and on base. And they and now they have the star-studded rotation to go with that. You know, it's no no surprise why they're 15 and five. DL Hall, Grayson now in the rotation there. Kevin Smith, Cody Sedlock, Peralta. Uh, Fenter. They're really doing a great job at Bowie with uh, Buck Britton managing there. At Aberdeen, they are second in their league in walks and first in on base and first in steals, Rob. They're really getting it done uh, throughout the lineup, and that's a really good rotation. Stallings and Brnovich, Rahm and Knight. And at Delmarva, they have the best offensive numbers in the Oriole system. They're averaging 7.5 runs a game, first in walks, on base, OPS, runs, just look at uh, their league, and they're probably first or second or third in a hitting stat. And so even if they lose these guys we were talking about, go up to Aberdeen, Delmarva's still going to have some talent to hit there.